In this video, we'll talk about track automation. It's important to understand the difference between clip automation and track automation. As we explained in the clip automation video, clip automation lets you automate volume, panning, and filters for individual audio or MIDI tracks. Track automation isn't bound to individual clip regions. Think of it as automation that's overlaid across the entire horizontal span of a track. Mixcraft displays track automation in what looks like another track directly beneath the track. We call this an automation lane. In addition to basic volume and panning, track automation lets you automate effects ends, plug-in parameters, and more. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use track automation to automate track volume and panning. Start by clicking the track's toggle automation button right here to view track automation. The first automation lane will show the track's volume automation. The automation parameter for a particular automation lane is always displayed right here, and you can choose which one is displayed by using the pop menu. One really important thing to understand when using track automation is the difference between locked and relative mode. See this icon right here? This is a little unlocked padlock right here. And this means that we're in unlocked mode. So when I open up the mixer, let me scroll a little bit here so you can see this. Here's the automation line. Now if I play back the track, watch this fader when I play back. Now you'll see it didn't move, but the automation still works. And what's happening in relative mode is that the automation is still working, you can hear the volume slow it go up, but the fader acts on top of it in concert with the automation. So in other words, if I turn the fader way down, you can still hear the automation, but everything's a lot quieter. If I turn the fader up, automation still happens, but everything's louder. Now let's click the icon and go into locked automation mode. Watch the fader. In locked mode, the fader actually follows the movements of the automation line. Mixref uses unlocked mode by default, but you can set the mode to your preference. If you're using a motorized hardware fader controller, like a Mackie control, you'll probably want to use locked mode, and that way the hardware faders will accurately follow the on-screen fader movements. Da -da -da. Here's a nifty Mixcraft track automation trick. Automation can be easily cut, copy, and pasted to any other location in a song. All you have to do is highlight a region that you want to cut or copy, by clicking and dragging, and I'm going to right click and hit copy, and then I'll move the song position line up here by clicking up here in the timeline. Then I'm going to right click and select paste, and there's my automation line. You can also cut automation this way by selecting the area you want to cut, right clicking, and hit cut. 